it's time to turn your life challenging moments into life changing messages. Welcome to the Power Lift Stories Podcast, where we are interviewing women whose stories will leave you lifted up, fired up, and fueled up with hope, courage, and inspiration. We want to thank our sponsor, Powerful Journey, who helps women tell their stories, write their books, and building a profitable brand around both. Join the Masterclass or the Speakers Academy at phyllisjenkins.com. That is P-H-Y-L-L-I-S-J-E-N-K-I-N-S dot com. Now here's your host, Phyllis Jenkins. Hi, Phyllis Jenkins here. I just completed an interview with today's guest, Monette. Oh my goodness, lots of golden nuggets that you will hear today. One being how she and her husband, John, had a need and they took action. And because they took action and fulfilled their need, we all get to benefit from it as well. Stay tuned so that you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Enjoy this powerful interview. Hello, and we are super excited to bring yet another great interview today. I have my new friend, Monette Motinen, a beautiful sister who is in a Thrive Mastermind with me. That's how we met. And I am so, so excited to have you here today, Monette. Welcome. Thank you, Phyllis. I appreciate your invitation. Absolutely. Well, I am going to introduce Monette to you, and then we're going to get right into our interview. I told her already it's going to be as if we are sitting in each other's living rooms just chatting um, uh, and, and, and sharing great information for you to take away today. So Monette Modenun, affectionately known as Miss Mo, has been encouraging families for over 20 years. How great is that? She earned her Bachelor of Art in Life Science and Master of Science in Marriage and Family Therapy from Indiana State University. And that's when she realized that she wanted to impact families. Her greatest joys were uniting, reuniting families as a counselor in group homes, foster care, and adoptive homes. As a parent involvement facilitator, she has had the pleasure of inspiring parents to help their children reignite their hopes and dreams of being successful in school. You know, we're we're loving that. Um, just a little bit more, and then I'm going to let her finish it off. Um, Monette has earned her teaching certificate from Marion University in Indianapolis and her instructional leadership certification from Troy University in Alabama. She is married to her husband, John, and they have created the PGF Education LLC, of which PGF Publication is part to continue imparting families in a global manner. Uh, Monette, I am going to let you just talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. Um, You and John have a blended family. You have adult children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and you appreciate uh, creating, taking an idea from infancy to manifestation. I love that. You also enjoy uh, reading, traveling, dancing, and writing. So Monette, let's talk a little bit more about the PGF education um, uh, company that you and John have um, have begun. Let's briefly talk about that and then we'll get into the interview. Well, my husband and I 
uh, created the company, you could almost say out of necessity. Mm. I was working as a teacher in uh, Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama. And my husband had a lot of medical issues. We haven't been very married very long, less than two years. So we're newlyweds. And so he didn't know he had all those, you know, a lot of times men don't go to the doctor on a regular basis. So he didn't know he had all those things going on. I didn't know how he had all those things going on. And he had lots of chronic illnesses. So I was trying to keep up with information and we developed our My Health Information Planner as a result of that. And uh, we built the company around that originally with the idea that we would help families in education, in school type of education, but we're doing more health education at this point. So that's pretty exciting. Still enjoying education, but just in a different view. Love that. Thank you for explaining that to us. And let's just move right into your story, if you would. Um, if you were to give your life-changing story a title, what would that title be and why? My title would be Riches to Rags to Riches. Ooh. <laughs> An Ordinary Life Touched by the Extraordinary Hand of God. Love that. And I've always wanted to write stories about my life. I haven't done that yet. But the reason being because I've gone from highs to lows to highs to lows, not just riches in terms of financially. That was true, too, because at one point we were homeless. And then also in insight that you can be rich in insight and knowledge and information and put that to use. And sometimes you exercise it well, sometimes you don't. So it's kind of been up and down. So that's why I would name it that. And with that said, would you please share your life-changing story? I'm going, there's so many. <laughs> I'm going to focus on the my employment aspects. And the reason I'm focusing on those is because a lot of times, a lot, well, we have the mass exodus. Let's face it, mm -hmm, we've mm -hmm. had a lot of people leave their careers and they leave for a variety of reasons. And when I was first coming out of college, I had a position as a counselor and I was fired because I was working for the, the patients and not for the doctors. Oh. And so I was fired and a friend of one of the ladies who was my supervisor we started a business. It didn't go well, but that's okay. That was kind of the down. And then I was looking at another position and I did, that's when I did the foster care and adoption services and those things. And then I was looking for another position and I found one. Well, actually I was at a school and I told them, you all need someone to help parents with their, help their children with their schoolwork and help them understand what's going on here because they were closing different schools and some of the schools seemed to be really good schools, but they were old schools. So mm -hmm. they were closing and they said, why don't you do it? And I was like, that didn't even <laughs> exist. And it didn't at that time. I've had lots of jobs over time that did not exist initially when it was approached to me or when I thought about it, it didn't even exist. So sometimes we think we want to go a certain way, but divine order says everything is in order. So just because you don't get it right now doesn't mean you're not going to get it. And it doesn't mean that it's, it may be a delay, not a denial from God. Absolutely. And so I didn't have that. Pos the position finally came available and I applied and had an interview for 15 minutes. And I was like, you know, not necessarily thinking I was going to get the job. But I did. And that was exciting. I did that for 10 years. That was a parent involvement facilitator position. I did that for 10 years. Well, in that meantime, you know, I got tired of doing that. Wanted something different. Again, the position I wanted didn't exist. <laughs> or that I got did not exist. They opened up a transition to teaching program in the district that I worked for in the public school district. And so I said, hmm, maybe I'll do that because I always wanted to be a teacher when I was a little girl, used to teach my brother and my dolls and all that. But in my day, that was the only 
profession that women could really go into, particularly Black women. So I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do something different, be a doctor or a nurse or something. Not the nurse, the doctor, because I didn't want, I wanted to be the boss. <laughs> but in college, that didn't work either. I was in that position and I went to a school and they had this position listed. And I looked at it and I said, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. And it was twenty thousand. It was sixteen thousand dollars more than I was making. I said I can do that. <laughs> Fast Absolutely. forward when I went to the teaching position, it was going to be a twenty thousand dollar pay cut, and mm-hmm. I thought I'm not going to do that. Well, I was actually running from my calling for teaching. So God took care of that. You know what He did? He eliminated the whole position. So I went from having <laughs> good money to no money. So I did go into teaching. Have loved it. Didn't know I would enjoy it. Didn't know I would enjoy high school, middle school, elementary school. I've been all levels. Didn't know. However, I've been in and out of that too. Ran again. I went to banking. I sold cars. I've done all (laughs) kinds of different running from my calling. But again, Mm -hmm. I had a position when the Affordable Care Act first came out. I was enrolling people in the Affordable Care Act and insurance. Again, teaching people about Mm -hmm. healthcare and insurance and educating them. And I just went to another place to enroll people and got an interview at, they were having open interviews for teachers. I said, I wonder if I should go back into teaching. Mm -hmm. And I was hired again. Again, it was totally divine intervention. Taught there for five years. Again, I was, I commuted for 45 minutes there and back. So I was ready for a change. And that was during the uh, pandemic. And so when I was home, I was like, this is kind of nice not to have to travel back and forth. (laughs) I found another position. Again, this position was something that I wanted to do for years, but there was no opening and I got an opening. Did that for a year. It wasn't what I thought. And that was okay too. So again, I was unemployed and that was okay too. And then I found another position, loved it. And I'm with the same company now. My husband, when he got sick, I quit work because I couldn't get FMLA. So I quit uh, to be with him. Fast forward, I went back to work with the same company, different school, same company. They love me. I love them. So you never know. Don't burn bridges. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Make sure you keep your relationship strong and make sure you trust in God with all of it because he will guide you. And I wanted to share uh, also, age doesn't matter either. I wrote this book, my husband and I, he's 74, I'm 61. Doesn't matter what age. That's uh, right. Even if you want been wanting to do something and you've had a dream for years, go for it. Doesn't matter your age, young, old, whatever. Age has nothing to do with it. It's all about God's timing. It is indeed. And the pastor yesterday preached a sermon. And one of the things that he said was, you're never too old to become what you were meant to be. And that goes right along with what you just said. So somebody today who is listening, Monette, needed to hear this. It's true. You've been delaying and putting off the assignment that God has told you to do. And you've even come up with the answer that I'm just too old. Well, we have just let you know that you're never too old to do what God has created you to do. And we encourage you to go forward and uh, move into your God assignment and watch him work. Monette, I love all of the doors that he has opened for you, but they kept leading you right back to your purpose, which is teaching. And, um, you know, God has a way to to bring us right on back. He'll let us go where we want to go for a while, but he has a way to draw us right on back to where he wants us to be. Um, and so in your business, how do you teach um, in your business today? 
Well, it's interesting because we are going to do workshops where we'll teach people how to use the planner. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the planner. Yes. I love it, of course. <laughs> and the planner is a very beautiful cover. She did an excellent job. Oh, it is. It cover. is. Yes. And so that's our book. And it has tabs in it, as you can see. Mm -hmm. It has different tabs and different sections. And with the different sections, we want to share pe with people uh, what they can do with the book. And this is my favorite section. Let me see if I can put it in there well. There you go. You know, you go to the doctor. Yes. They give you information and you think you're going to remember what they said. But we don't. Once we That's leave right. there, we forgot. <laughs> you can put your, you know, and then we have questions before you go to the doctor. We write them down and then we forget the paper. <laughs> <laughs> and so in the planner, you can write your questions before. You can take notes in when they prep you or any preparation you need to take for the appointment. And then during the appointment, you can write your notes and they don't mind you writing notes. They don't want you to record, but they don't mind you writing notes. And then after, what do you need to do after? Did you get prescriptions? Did you get any, what was your diagnosis? All of that is in the book. That's my favorite section. And that's the section I use the most with my husband, of course. So that's how, and then teaching people how to actually use the book about how to track information. You have chronic illness. How are you going to help yourself? How are you going to do this? Because our tagline is promoting generational health is what we want to do. That's so great. That's, how, that's great. Teaching. So you all found a need and you filled it. There was True. a need. There was a need, a personal need. You filled it, but now it has become something that nation nationwide can use i mean That's people true. everywhere can take that planner to their doctor's office and share from the planner record while they're there and then take it home and be able to go back over everything that the doctor has said because exactly. as you stated we will forget something um and and so i love 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 that before we finish the interview I will have you to let our listeners know how they can order their own and uh, and even give as gifts to others because most of us, um, if even you know for ourselves, but we have parents who are aging, and it would be great to have one of those planners to take to the doctor's office for our uh, our parents as well. So. Absolutely love that. As we begin to wrap up the interview, you have stood on a stage, Monette, and there were a sea of women's, women standing there. There were a sea of women as far as you could look. And you finished telling your impactful story. They all stood and gave you a standing ovation. But now they have turned to go to their vehicles and the curtains are closing. Monette is turning to go off stage. What are three lessons that you hope that every woman walked away with? The first lesson is put God first and trust him with it all. He will work it out. That would be the first one. The second one is age is just a number. Yes. Don't get caught up in it either way. It's just a number. And the third one would be divine order. Everything happens as it should happen. Don't be caught up in things going faster or I missed my opportunity or anything like that. It's all as it should be. Like you said, if you miss an opportunity, God will bring you back around. Don't worry. He will yeah. bring you back around. We mess up all the time. He already knows that. That's why we trust him. So those would be my three points. Love those points. And yes, that's why we trust him. Because he knows what we're going through, what where we've been, where we're going, and, and the end results, the big picture. He knows it all. And so... 
we are indeed to trust him. So how can our listeners order their planner? Yes, ma'am. They can go to, it's on Amazon as well. Amazon.com, of course. And that one is a paperback, but it doesn't have the the tabs in it. And it also doesn't have the back pocket. I love pockets. So it's oh. a pocket in the back. So when you get those appointment cards, you can put it in the pocket and things like that. So mm-hmm. to get that one, you would go to the localbooknook.com or better yet, go to our website, pgfeducation.com, pgfeducation.com. And you can see all the information and order the book right through the book nook on our website. I love that. And if they order it from your website, they'll get the one that you just showed us with the tabs and the pocket in the back, correct? Right. They'll have the option to do either one. Okay. Great, great, great. Well, Monad, I love what you and your husband have done. Uh, You, again, there was a need and you didn't just complain about it. You took action and you did something about it. And now others are being blessed because you acted upon that. And I just want to say as an educator that may God continue to bless the works of your hands as you are helping his children to develop and to gain the wisdom, the understanding, the knowledge that that is needed. Um, And also the administrators that you will be working with as well. So I am so excited once again to have had you on our podcast today. And we look forward to seeing what God has in store for you next. Thank you. I appreciate it. You have a are wonderful day. Phyllis, thank you. And all your wonderful listeners. Thank you. Thank you. Um, We are so excited again to have you listening to us today or watching uh, because this is on our YouTube channel. And as you know, I truly believe that you can turn your life challenges into a life changing message, a message of hope, a message of inspiration, a message of encouragement that will help others to not only survive, but thrive. Now, I want you to go tell your story. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us today. If you are interested in being on the show, go to phyllisjenkins.com. You can also sign up for the Powerful Journey Masterclass or the Speakers Academy at phyllisjenkins.com.